you guys so today i'm going to show you how to make this really cute no sew bunny pillow perfect for decorating for your spring and easter i love using uh, pillows not just for um, on chairs and couches but they're just so decorative to just throw in a little corner on a shelf anywhere it is stuffed with filling you could also use a old pillow if you have one as well and just insert it in um, this has uh, using a fleece fabric which I usually recommend just because this is a no sew project if you do use a thinner material like cotton you will see the uh, hot glue um, pop through on the fabric. It's a great little addition to your uh, spring and Easter decor and I'm going to show you how to make him now. So what I have here is I have some fleece from Joanne that I cut 16 by 16. You could do 18, you could do 20. Um, I like a 16 inch pillow. So I did 16 inch. This is again just fleece that I cut down. Now what I like to do is I like to use my pinking shears this is totally optional, but it just gives it a really nice detailing around the pillow. Um, you can get these at the craft store too uh, for under $20, uh, but you don't have to do that, but that's just a nice little touch, gives it that finishing edge. So what I did is I took my really pretty fleece, then I took the bunny pattern on, um, download for free on mothertime.com. So it comes in two pieces. Uh, you just trace it out and cut it out like that. And now you have the pattern that you can just trace out your bunny. Now we have to create a little bow. So what I like to do when I make pillows like this, I like to get all of my elements out first. Then once the creating is ready, it's a breeze because I have all the details all ready to go. So I created a cute little bow. I used ribbon from Hobby Lobby. So this is not in where their wired ribbon is. This is like usually in their fabric section. So you can just get that ribbon. And now, instead of doing the typical um, tail, what I did is I took some yarn. This is just plain, simple, 97 cent yarn or dollar yarn that I got at Hobby Lobby. What I just do is I take my four fingers, I hold it down, I wrap it around like 30, 35 times. I do quite a bit, um, just because I like a nice uh, fluffy tail. You don't even have to count. You can just go around till you got a nice bunch around. I'm sure there's other techniques, but this is just the way I do it. And so once I got enough, I kind of just grab a hold of it and pinch it in the center, cut my end, and then I tie around the center of this loop like so. So it's nice and tight. Sometimes I even knot it just so it doesn't come out. that then I take my really good ginger scissors that I love go through the little hole like that and then go through my little hole on the other side and like that so now you can just trim it down you kind of fluff it out and then you can just uh, trim it down it's good to do that <laughs> over a garbage can then you get this cute little pom-pom um, that you trim down. Of course, if you want a bigger pom-pom, you just make it bigger. I'm just using my hand as a reference, so it just depends. So that's a pom-pom that you're gonna have. You're also gonna need some stuffing, um, or if you have a pillow insert, you could even use that. So uh, by all means, now, if you are using a pillow insert, you're only gonna wanna go around the, the three sides, add your pillow insert, and then uh, close up the bottom. So if you're using an insert, now if you're using pilling, you're gonna go all the way around, and keep a pocket to stuff. To begin, now you could glue down Mr. Bunny first and then go through, but I like to make sure that I do my pillow first and then this little guy is lined up perfectly. So if anything, so we're gonna move him on the side. And now we are going to hot glue around the edge. Even pin this down a few if you wanted to, just to make sure there's no shifting. Um, sometimes I like to do that so my fabric doesn't shift. Don't worry about any, um, if you miss anything, um, you can always go back with the hot glue at the end. And so if you do have like a little area that you um, missed, you can simply just go back. So I'm just adding a few little pins to my area, just so there's no shifting. 
All right, so we are ready to start hot gluing. So fire up your hot glue gun and open up. Now, if you do so, you could obviously sew this too. And just glue as close to the edge. You'd be leaving a little bit. And then just gently press down. And I'm gonna continue going around until I get to the end. So. Okay, once you are done with the hot glue, you leave yourself a little bit of a pocket and just let it sit for a few minutes. Make sure that that hot glue really adheres to the fabric. And now you are ready to um, add your filling. Again, if you're gonna add a pillow, you wanna make sure you leave a larger opening so you can add that pillow in. But we're just gonna use stuffing today because that's what I have at hand. So now it is time for the fun part and that is stuffing the pillow. So just add your stuffing. I like to kind of break it up like that so you don't get clumpies. And then just kind of go like that. So I'm gonna get stuffing. Okay, so once you have it all stuffed, the corners nice and stuffed, and you like the way it's stuffed, you're just gonna seal up your edges with some more hot glue. So give it a nice little push. Make sure that it's nice and even. All right, so now I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and close it up. Okay, once it's all sealed up, now you can just kinda go around and make sure if there's any uneven edges to, or if there's any unglued edges, you can um, just add a little bit of glue, or if you need to trim any edges, you can do that as well to make sure that everything is even. But this is why I love the, the pinking shears. It gives it a really nice detail and it hides any imperfections too. So this is also why I don't like to add the, the applique until the end, because if there is any shifting, then the bunny won't be off center or whatever you're applying. So now I know exactly where the center is and Mr. Bunny will be nice and centered. So now I know that I want him like this on there. And uh, how cute is that? So yeah, so now I am going to just simply hot glue him onto this pillow. Now that Mr. Bunny is adhered, it's time to add a tail. So we have our tail. And this is again why I love making all of the, everything I need ahead of time. So now I'm just gonna add some hot glue to the bunny tail and add it to the bottom. How cute is that? And now we'll add a little bit of hot glue I wanted to have it upside like that little guy or not press it in for a minute and voila you have a super cute pillow and I think you guys are going to uh, love using him for um, your decorating for spring and of course Easter so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this project